we all back in the mansion? Now? You're all back in the mansion now. Why is it so tense in here all of a sudden? I think I know what's going on. I don't know what happened. Can I, Grog, Grog Pike, can I say something? I feel like there's some tension between us and we need to clear the air if we're gonna go fight today. You guys are really bad today. Well, and I think it's because I haven't, I haven't made you feel at ease. So can I please just take a moment before we go out there and just for once and for all, just say I'm sorry to you guys for what I did and how I left things. I said things that were really cruel and meant to hurt you. And that's wrong and I'll probably regret it for the rest of my life. But I needed to go and I just didn't know how to express myself. And I'm so sorry that I insulted you. Pike, I've said awful things to you for as long as we've known each other. And I can't take them back, but I can at least try to be a better person. And can I confess something to you? During the last year, I've, I've, I think I've been praying. I, I mean, I just talk at night and nobody hears me, but I guess that's praying, right? And sometimes I talk to Saren Ray, because that's the only one I know. And she, she seems cool. And she seems like someone who could be a good guide. And it feels good. And I even wrote a little poem about her and about her teachings. It's very simple. But can I tell you it? Uh, well, let's hear it. It's really simple. It goes, everybody, people, Everybody bleed. Everybody needs something. Everybody love. Everybody know how it go. I know it's stupid, but there's a certain logic to it. Logic yeah. To it that actually makes a lot of sense. It just it it makes me feel connected to you guys, even though you're not there. And so I say that to myself every <laughs> night before I go to sleep. It just makes you feel connected to everybody, people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And Grog... No, stop. I can't apologize to you because words don't work. Mm. So let me get this straight. You think you can go away for a year and come back in a disguise and apologize to this group and that's going to be good enough for me. And then when I'm still pissed, you're gonna give me a combo apology with Pike, and that's gonna be good enough for me. I'm still pissed. You came back in a costume. A costume, I'm not, I'm not even really that smart. It's not hard to trick me. And I'm a big guy, but you made me feel small. I don't know if you missed us. I don't know if somebody's making us go down into this zig fat ziggurat. I don't even know why we're here. I thought maybe you'd come back and be like, oh, my best mate, the guy that like would do anything to keep me alive. There he is, I missed him. Nope. You come back, you found yourself a brand new idiot. One that does amazing strikes twice in a row and talks to ducks. Has all sorts of new tricks, brand new model, new and improved in every way. I bet you do all sorts of fun things with him. So no, you do not get to apologize to me. I wasn't going to. I was just gonna give you a gift. Because the times we had together were the best times ever. You might be a little slow, but you're the best friend I ever had. And our times together were great, not because of our conversations or our witty repartee. It was because of the fun we had together and the experiences we had. So last night I, I wrote something for you. I know you can't read, 
but he can read. No, Vex. He doesn't know that. I just got you a gift. Because if if you won't spend time with me now, it maybe maybe you'll be able to spend time on your own. So I wrote I wrote you this. Maybe someone else can read it for him. He might be able to read it, Scanlan. Yeah, well, it depends on if there's like long words. There's really well, long words. It's, it's a big word. It's, 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 a bit, it's a lot of words. It's a big word. Well. Give it a try. Owl. Nope. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I'm really embarrassed. I'm really embarrassed. I'll whisper it to you. Oh, don't see how it <clears throat> yeah, I don't feel like showing off my prowess, but I can't read a dirty hand in betrayal. All who read this, let it be known by order of Ayas Adon, A. Sadon. It's a stupid name, Scanlan. <laughs> but it's fine. It's elvish. Well, That's why I stupid. Read it. <laughs> uh, AKA the Meat Man, AKA Vickle the Vicious. A.K.A. Reddish the Bold, <sighs> A.K.A. The Little Paws, A.K.A. Francoise Bertrand Jean-Luc Australia. That I'm behind. Beware that the bearer of this note, Grog Strongjaw, shall be entitled to any libation of his choosing at any pub, tavern, restaurant, inn, alehouse, brewery, or house of lady favors within the city limits of Ancarelle. He shall be allowed to drink until drunk and enjoy no molestation by any employee of said establishment unless he requests it. Mm. <laughs> All charges and bills related to his drinking, cavorting, or violent behavior resulting from drunkenness shall be forwarded to the meat man for timely payment in full. By complying with this request, you are hereby under the protection of the meat man and shall receive all the benefits and goodwill accompanying such association. The meat man always remembers. Sincerely, Ace Adam. Probably, probably best to test it out, see if it's even worth anything. Grog, I love you. I'm sorry that we won't get to hang out because you hate me now. But I would never replace you. And if you ask me right now... You'll kill him. I will kill him. Who? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't worry about it. Okay. I really like this job. Oh He's all right. Well, you go drinking with me sometime. We'll see. By the way, I want you to know when you died, I sang a song I would never sing for anyone else, and I'm sorry you didn't hear it, but it was really hard. Is that true? Yes. He sang? Yes. Uh, Do a truthful check. Do you know what he sang? <laughs> A truthful check? <laughs> sure, I'll, I'll roll a truthful check. An inside check? Okay. <laughs> Natural 20. <laughs> Honest as, as the day or grug dick is long, he apparently sang. <laughs> it is. I can just lean forward. <laughs> Happy 100. Happy 100. <laughs> grug, maybe I didn't hear it. Maybe you should sing it and let him know what it was. Oh, you know, it's like that face of death in the hallway. Once it uses up its power, it's done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry I missed it. And I hope someday we'll sing together in a drunken stupor together. Maybe that will remind you. Maybe. I was an asshole, Grog. I'm sorry. Yeah. I would never, never replace you. Ever. You're irreplaceable. And he, he could have read this, by the way. That's amazing. He could have read this, by That's the way. That's incredible. I would have gotten the name right. Yeah. Wait, is that... Did you frame it like a coupon book? 
It's very impressive. I had some time last night. Wow. <laughs> that you can sort of pick out of it, oh, like, yeah. a, like, a, free massage, like free a couple massage. on Valentine's Day. Forgot it was Valentine's Day. Yeah, <laughs> looks like there's a, a, a free steak. <laughs> Listen, I, you, we, we need to go kill some things right now, but I, I just want to say to all of you, I'm so sorry the way I left. It was, it was awful of me. Percival, I said awful things to you. I said awful things to all of you. But just know that I've done and said worse things to Kaylee, and she's forgiven me. And I've done and said worse things to myself, and I've managed to forgive myself. And I hope that someday you'll all be able to forgive me. And until then, I'll just keep trying, and that's all I can do. And after this fight, if you want me to stay and you guys go home, that's fine. But if not, maybe we can start over. Vex, Vex, Keyleth, at this moment, you hear what sounds like footsteps making.